the most common drug used in hiatal hernia syndrome is a PPI, typically a meprazole. There's other names for a meprazole, but protein pump inhibitor is what we're talking about today. And it's linked to kidney disease, which is not something that is much discussed. So I wanted to share that with you. Typically, the problems of the kidney are linked to what's called long-term use of a PPI. But when you consider that a PPI is only approved for two weeks at a time, and people are kept on it for months, years, and even decades, uh, you know what is what is long-term use, and and what is what is long-term use for you versus somebody else? Because bodies are different in how they respond to drugs. But let's just put it in the category of multiple months up to over one to two to three years. So you're, you're in that category. So that's when you wanna be very cognizant of this risk so that you're aware and you don't get into trouble with your kidneys. So the, the issue is that the PPI uh, can cause both acute inflammatory kidney disease. So acute means it's happening suddenly um, versus chronic kidney disease, which can turn, uh, can turn into end-stage renal failure, which of course is, is very serious, then you're losing your, your kidney function altogether. Uh, so in the acute nephritis, it's called, so nephritis just means inflammation of your kidney. Uh, the, the sneaky part is that it can be asymptomatic, meaning you, you don't know that you have it when you do. Otherwise, the symptoms associated with it, and there are many, so I'm going to look at my notes, um, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, uh, dark urine, loss of appetite, swelling, especially in the legs and ankles or under your eyes, uh, the dark urine I mentioned, blood in your urine or cloudy urine. So these are, these are the symptoms. And of course, fatigue is very generalized, loss of appetite is kind of generalized, especially if you have a hiatal hernia and food does not seem to be your friend. So um, being on the lookout for this and, and just being attuned to these symptoms is very important. And then of course, seeing your doctor regularly to make sure nothing is, is happening without your knowledge. So um, yeah, so as I mentioned, the acute nephritis can happen suddenly. And then what happens is it's not recognized and now it can progress to the more chronic. So the chronic kidney disease, uh, journals like Journal of the American Medical Association, Kidney International have done studies and have absolutely linked long-term PPI use to risk of both chronic and end-stage uh, renal disease. And they found that users of PPI have a 20 to 50% increased risk of chronic kidney disease over patients that were not taking a PPI. So that's, that's the research on it. The mechanism is considered one for the chronic that you're having several episodes of the acute and it's undetected. So it's creating more and more inflammation, more and more damage, and now you're getting into the chronic state. The other, which we know and have spoken about here many times, is that when you decrease the acid in your stomach, you're not absorbing magnesium, calcium, and vitamin B12. And so the deficiencies that can be created in those respective minerals and the vitamin B12 can set you up for the kidney issues. Also, if you think about the acute nephritis, it's called acute inflammatory nephritis, and inflammation is um, performed by your immune system when something is going awry and is trying to attack it, attack it, attack it. And when it gets into the state of not being able to, you get this sort of chronic inflammation in a certain area of your body. But the microbiome, which is anywhere from 40 to 60 plus trillion organisms in your colon, houses 70% of your immune system. So your immune system is predominantly housed in your colon. In, with the microbiome. And when the microbiome is healthy, you have a robust immune system and you're very good at fighting off various mechanisms, whether it's infectious or toxic, etc. And so, uh, of course, that's what we want. We want a very robust and strong immune system. But 
when you're taking a PPI and you're limiting your acid, the trickle down effect is you're also imbalancing your microbiome. So because of that, you've got more bad microbes in your colon than good. Now your immune system's more at risk. You're more at risk for infection. So, so that's the mechanism associated with this inflammatory kidney disease is that your immune system is not as robust and that is a known effect side effect of being on PPI medication. And then of course there's the lack of nutrient absorption and you know when you're not absorbing major minerals like magnesium and calcium there's a lot of things that can go wrong and, and kidney function is one of them. So that those are the suspected mechanisms and I've given you the list of symptoms for the acute situation. So I basically, I mean, the, my biggest solution and, and my biggest tip for you is let's figure out why you're on a PPI, get to the root of that so you don't need a PPI, okay? Because remember that the stomach is supposed to produce acid, that is its very job, and we're compromising that ability and setting up problems all the way down the line of digestion and absorption. So instead, the better solution is why is my stomach being compressed and has pressure on it so that it's forced to bring acid up my esophagus? What is the root cause of that? Where is that pressure coming from? You isolate, identify, diagnose that and treat it successfully. Then we can start weaning you off the PPI and you don't need to worry about all of these various side effects because there are many and over and above kidney, there's infections, there's osteoporosis, there's risk for stroke, there's risk for heart attack, there's risk for stomach cancer. It's not a pretty drug. Now, I know it can be great if you have horrible acid reflux and now you don't, but let's just get to the root cause of it and allow your body to function normally and not be continue to take this drug that has such negative side effects. So. Um, I hope you found this information helpful. You can be proactive for your kidneys, and we're delighted to help you as far as getting to the root cause of why you have the acid reflux so that you don't continue to need uh, the PPI. If you enjoyed this information, please um, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get more subscribers so that more people are exposed to this information. Give the video a thumbs up, share it with others who you think it might be pertinent for, and uh, we'll talk soon.